Hi YouTube, Tim Unkert from UnkertEducation.com here. In this video, we're going to install Skype on a Chromebook. But first, if you like videos where I show you how to install software on both Chromebooks and Windows and show you other aspects of using the software, make sure to subscribe. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get started. The first thing you need to do is go over to your launcher here and once you click on that, you want to search for settings. And click on your settings. And then on the left hand side here, you'll see this advanced tab. You'll click to expand that. And if you scroll on down, you can see developers. Click on developers. Then click turn on. Okay. This will create a wizard that will allow you to set up the Linux development environment. I'll click next. It'll give you a username based off of your email, I believe. Uh, make sure you like that username because I don't think you can change that later. The disk size, it will give you a recommended disk size. That can be changed later. Um, so you could, you don't have to worry as much about that. I'm going to keep both as is and click install. And that's going to take a few moments. So I'll let that run and come on back once that's done. Okay, once the Linux development environment is enabled, a terminal will pop up. I'm going to click to maximize this, and I'm going to increase the font size so you can see what I'm doing. And I want to make sure everything's up to date. So I'm going to type sudo apt get update, and then two ampersands for and, and then sudo apt get dist dash upgrade. And I'm going to do a dash y to answer yes to the additional space. I'm going to hit enter to run. And this will take a few moments, so I'll come on back once that's done. After the Linux development environment is enabled, we can go ahead and install Skype. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a new window on my browser here. And I'm going to search for Skype. And uh, we'll see Skype.com comes up. So I can click on that. And we can click to download Skype. Now, the default option will be for Windows, but we want to go to linux.deb. Now, this will work for an Intel or AMD-based Chromebook. Uh, I should preface with that. Um, I don't have an ARM-based Chromebook, so I can't speak to whether this technique will work or not. All right, so I'm going to download the, dot, or the .deb file here. Okay, once the .deb file is downloaded, I can click and to show in folder. And then I can right click here and click install with Linux. And I'll go ahead and click install and OK. OK, depending on your internet speed, that may take a few minutes to install. So now I can close this out here. And I can go right here and I'm going to search for Skype. And I see this icon here and I can click on that icon. And here we go, we have uh, Skype installed on a Chromebook. Now, if you are um, you know, going to use this on a regular basis, I would right click and then pin it to your shelf here so you can have easy access to it. You don't even have to go to your launcher, you can just click on and use Skype. If you're not going to use it as much, just maybe keep it in here and then search for uh, Skype when you need to use it. If this video was helpful to you, please uh, give it a like. That'll help a lot. Thank you.